So removing drums from something like a sample is one of the hardest things you can do. And to be honest, doing it with stock plugins, the results are always pretty terrible, really difficult to do. You have to use some kind of specialist tool. And in this case, we're gonna take this sample from sounding like this with the full drum mix in to this. And we're gonna do that using Ozone 11. So let me show you how we would set this up on Ozone 11. We've just got a blank sample right here. So once we've opened it up right here, we wanna make sure we're over here on the plugin chain rather than the assistant. And the very first thing we wanna do is look over here where it says full mix and we wanna go and grab percussion. And by doing that, that's gonna help isolate the drums in this sample and we're able to dial that right back. So if we play it back now, if I pump this right up, hear the drums are now much, much louder. We simply, we're just gonna reverse that and we're gonna drop them down 20 dB. That's step one. But you can hear there's still kind of a bit of the drums in there. And what we can do to really get rid of them is add in an EQ here. And we're gonna do a kind of EQ that you would never ever do in reality, but we wanna put a point here and a point here. And we're gonna switch both of these to their respective flats. So we're gonna go flat high pass. We're gonna go flat low pass. We want a nice harsh wall. And we're actually, we're gonna cross them past each other like that. I found crossing them past each other higher up in the frequency spectrum is better than lower down. Otherwise we still get some kind of like crossover low end. But now the drums are gonna be completely gone. It's damn as near it anyway. considering this is how much was there. How quick and easy is that? If the processing of having ozone in there is a little bit too heavy, what you can do is pop Edison in just below ozone on your mixer track. Hit record on Edison and play your sample through like so. And we can just loop around this zoom ourselves in to make sure we get a nice good start point and just send this little gap if you find it snapping just like that click on this guy just here and adjust it to snap to samples instead and you'll be able to move it to where it should be and dial this one right back and then this little icon just here will let you drag that piece of audio and drop it in and we'll just give it a little tidy up and there you go now we've got a rendered out audio version so we can take ozone off and not have to worry about any of the processing. I really hope that's helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you in future tutorials <clears throat> of which you can find hundreds more on the screen right now.